Anders oh. who lost three straight. They did beat the Jags opening day, but any optimism following that victory slowly disappearing. They're at the bottom of the suddenly powerful NFC East. I don't know. Carson Wentz says, no need to panic yet, guys. Obviously, we know the, the skid, so to speak, that we've been on, and, and we got to find a way to win. And, um, you know, patience only only lasts so long. you got to find ways to convert, stay on the field, score touchdowns, you know, score points, win, win some ball games. And um, But there's no sense of panic. There's no sense of uh, chaos around here. You know, it's uh, we're going into week five. You know, we, we know kind of how we played, and it wasn't up to our standards, but at the same time, um, I know everybody in that locker room has a ton of confidence. We've seen spurts of what we're capable of, and for us, it's just now, can we go be consistent and do it? And um, we, we know the sense of urgency that, that there is, but there's no panic by any means. By the way, I would feel a lot better if they had an offensive coach. <laughs> I mean, the two or three offenses that are painful, Chicago, defensive coach, Washington, Defensive coach, Houston, defensive coach. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Saints, offense, defensive coach. I mean, I'm, I'm not. I know this is getting old talking about it, but I think you put your quarterback in an incredibly tough spot. Carson Wentz had an offensive coach last year. Twenty-seven TDs, seven picks. The Washington's got better receivers than Indy. Now he looks like he can't play. I'm supposed to believe that in one year, one off season, he can't play at all. Mid-90 passer rating, I believe. I don't know. I have that in front of me. But it was 27 TDs, 7 picks with an average receiving core in Washington. Now I, he's supposed to be able to. He can't play. What's changed? Well, his last season in Philly, he was, he was I don't want to say trash. But well, he, he got garbage. beat up. He was injured. <laughs> yeah, fair. But um, what if I told you I was looking at betting on Washington this week, Colin? They're getting two and a half at home. Again, who? Against Mike two. Vrabel in Tennessee. Mike Vrabel is great as an underdog. Anytime he's a favorite. Giants in the opener. Favorite. Lose outright. Washington rally the troops. Everybody's talking about Ron Rivera in trouble. Can I make a case for Washington? 